With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is a triangle is formed by the straight line x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 2 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0 find graphically the area of the triangle. So firstly we will find these points so that we can plot them on the graph. We have our equation as x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Here if we put the value of x to be 0 we will get the value of 2y to be equal to 3 therefore a value of y will be equal to 1.5 and if we put the value of y to be equal to 0 we will get the value of x to be 3. So for our first equation we have two coordinates such as 0 comma 1.5 and this will be 3 comma 0. For our second equation our equation is 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. Here if we put the value of x to be 0 we will get 2y to be equal to 7. Therefore the value of y will be equal to 3.5. And if we put the value of y to be 0, we will get 3x to be equal to minus 7. Therefore, the value of x will be equal to minus 2.33. So, our coordinates will be 0, 3.5 and this will be minus 2.33, 0. And we see that our third line is y plus 1 is equal to 0, which can be written as y is equal to minus 1. So, now we will plot our graph. So this is our graph, this is our y axis and this is our x axis. We will firstly plot our first line. We have our points as 0, 1.5 and 3, 0. So x is 0, y is 1.5 which will lie between 1 and 2 and 3, 0 will be this point. So if we join both of these lines, therefore this will be our line x plus 2y is equal to 3. Now we have these coordinates for our second line. So 0, 3.5. 3.5 between 3 and 4 and we have minus 2.33 which will lie between minus 2 and minus 3. So if we connect these line also this will be our line 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. Now we will draw our last line that is y is equal to minus 1. So we see that the line parallel to the x axis over here we will have all the values of y to be equal to minus 1. We see that this is the triangle formed. So here we will have to find the area of this triangle. For which we will have to firstly find the points of intersection. We can name this point to be A, this to be B and this to be C. We see that our point B is the intersection of line 2 and line 3. So therefore we have 2 and 3. We will put the value of y to be equal to minus 1 in this equation. We will get 3x minus and minus will become plus 2 plus 7 is equal to 0 which will give us the value of 3x to be equal to minus 9 and our x will come out to be equal to minus 3. Therefore this coordinate will be minus 3 comma minus 1. So our b is minus 3 comma minus 1. Our point c is the intersection of line 3 and 1. So our 1 and 3 equation again we will put the value of y to be equal to minus 1 in this. We will get x minus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, the value of x will be equal to 5. So, this coordinate will be 5 comma minus 1. Our c coordinate is plus 5 comma minus 1. And we see that our point A will be intersection of line 1 and 2. So, now we will solve for 1 and 2. From our equation, we can let the value of x to be equal to 3 minus 2y. So, when we will put the value of x in our equation number 2, we will get 3 into x that is 3 into 3 minus 2y minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. Opening the bracket this will become 9 minus 6y minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. Taking y terms on one side and the constants on other we will get 8y is equal to 16 therefore the value of y will be equal to 2. And from here we will get that our value of x will be equal to 3 minus 4 that is minus 1. Therefore this a coordinate will be minus 1 comma 2. Here we see that this will be our height for the triangle and this B, C will be our base. We can let this point to be D. Therefore, area of a triangle is given by half into base into height. Here we see that it will be equal to 1 by 2 into here our base is B into C and our height is A into D. Our B, C will be equal to now here we have our x to be minus 3. So from minus 3 to 0 we see that we will have 3 boxes and from 3 to 5 we will have 5 boxes. So 3 plus 5 will be 8. Therefore we will get this value to be equal to 1 by 2 into bc that is 8 into 
now ad we will find from this value will be 2 so from 2 to 0 we have 2 boxes and from 0 to minus 1 we have 3 boxes so 1 2 and 3 boxes so therefore its length will be 3 we can cancel this out so this will become 4 into 3 that is equal to 12 square units therefore this is the area of our triangle and this is our required answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today